Hello, dear viewer, and welcome back to Octopath Traveler with me, Jaladon. Let's get into some travel banter. So, what's with the two rings on your necklace, Hobbit? They are in keepsakes from my parents. I touched them for luck before a hunt. A foolish superstition, I know. But I remember holding it tight before my first hunt. After that, it became a habit. And I guess hunters need all the luck they can get. So, I'm not surprised they believe in things like charms and rituals. I don't think it's limited to hunters. I have one as well. You mean, praying to the flame? No, not exactly. Every morning after reading scripture, I wish for a blessed day, before carefully placing a bookmark between the pages I've been reading. The bookmark I use is actually a pressed flower that I picked from a secret place I know. That is a fine ritual. May it continue with the blessed thy days. Oh, I do hope so. What about you, Therian? Do you have rituals or superstitions? Of course. Thievery is as prey to fortune's caprice as hunting. So it are in thy superstitions? When I break into a house, I always enter with my right foot, and I knock on the door first. Lightly, of course. I never look portraits in the eye, or steal from children's savings boxes. Also... Stay, how many hast thou? As many as I need to make off with my prize. I cannot decide if that makes you overly superstitious, or eminently practical. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's the first time I've had all three of them in the party at the same time, huh? Intriguing. Plus, it seemed to only activate when I brought them into the tavern. Which makes me wonder if there's more banter that's tavern-specific. Hmm. Well, for the meantime, we are going to switch out Hanit for Alfin. Alfin will lead the way. I was going to take a nap, but uh, that's okay. This will do. Hmm. Other choices to think about. With Alfin, I might not need Ophelia over Cyrus, but I kind of kind of want that, I think. So, we'll do this for now, and then Alfin will switch out for Cyrus in the future as we finish the last two. In the meantime, I have inquiries. Morlock's mercenary. Though his contract with his employer is almost up, he feels guilty when thinking of abandoning such a useless old man in the world alone, and has decided to stick around until the disgraced former landowner finds a new place to call home. Oh, this is the boss we kicked out. Oh my gosh. Former landowner of Quarrycrest. He lost his fortune after leaving the town and now wanders the land with Omar. He often gives the mercenary the most unreasonable requests, hoping to get his money's worth by the time the contract ends. Huh. <laughs> what a pair. Okay, we've talked to this revolutionary before. I'm still trying to find this lady's husband. Who I was hoping would be down here. So, maybe I haven't talked to the right person yet. But, uh, it does not appear to be the case. <laughs> We've talked to the veteran brigand. A good day, Tate. <laughs> All right. Hmm. But yeah, that's why we're escorting this one character with Ophelia's ability. I don't know if I broke the quest by teleporting. I was hoping that maybe I could, you know, get away with it. And we did knock this guy out. Poor man. Okay, just doing your work best you can. <sighs> Tiger is dead and gone. That's sad. Okay, do I? I don't really need a nap. No, All right. Hello. The truth. Okay, maybe we need to go towards the noble area. Sorry, I'm trying to get this done if possible. What about you? Whoa! That woman. I think she might just be the perfect one for me. I have plenty of confidence in my sword. Countless battlefields have I conquered, yet it was only when I returned from the field of war that I realized it. I gained nothing. For all I had fought, that was when I realized what I was truly missing. My other half. My perfect woman. And that woman. Oh, how can I ever get her to glance in my direction? Okay, daughter of the Dark God What? What? Okay, that seems weird. Mm -hmm. Why, hello. That light in your eye. You have the look about you I like. But alas, you're not quite the one I'm looking for. Huh. LeBlanc? Is that... post-game stuff? Good day. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder Never. if I messed this up. Not a cheap. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, we found a new tail. Hello, doggos. Listen up. Yeah. Listen up. Okay, so we've been here before. Hmm. Anything up near the manor that we should, you know, learn about? No. 
All right. Hmm. And then I think I actually still have evasive maneuvers equipped. Don't I? Hmm. I do. We'll keep that for now. I put surpassing power instead of the uh, summon strength for 50 physical attack. I think surpassing power is just better for us now that we can combo well enough that we can probably get 15,000 pretty consistently. So, yeah. We got a buff, debuff, and reach our brand's thunder at the same time, pretty much. But yeah, it's, it's not terribly doable for us anymore. Let's inquire this gentleman. Plucked from a life of poverty by his lordship, this man intends to make the most of the opportunity he has been given. Though he is not blind to the strife between the nobility and the peasantry, he prays that one day the peoples of Boulderfall will find a way to live in harmony. That would be best. Huh. God's beauty. We know of the gang, yes. Inquire. This longtime resident of Boulderfall claims to know everything that is worth knowing about the town's affairs. While he is indeed quite well informed, he has a habit of forgetting the most crucial details, rendering much of his advice altogether unreliable. Interesting. Okay, well, hmm. I'm gonna talk to you guys. Aha! My love! Hey! Sweetness, you're safe. <laughs> Industrious husband. But why risk the journey, love? Just a few more weeks and my work would have been done here. Forgive me. I had a gift for you, and I just couldn't wait. A pair of shoes. Cribbins, they're light as feathers, but strong and stoutly made. I ordered them special, from the cobbler. I thought they'd help you at work. I knew you would like them, and I just couldn't wait to give them to you. You bring joy to my heart, my love. And to see you safe and sound is the greatest joy of all. Thank you for the gift. They're just what I needed. No. Well, that was cute. Hey, we got a couple things that might help us buff outside of combat and stuff. Some would call it strange and unhealthy to think only of another, not at all of oneself. But it would seem that is indeed what this woman does. By all accounts, she spends her every waking moment worrying over her husband as if she has no identity whatsoever save that which exists relative to his. Ooh, that, hmm. That, uh, seems like a JRPG thing, let me put it that way. Or very fire room, at any rate. Why would I steal from these people? Yeah, let's see if they have anything worth buying, though. Healing graves and pomegranate. Okay. Inquire. Originally from the village of Swaki, this devoted husband is, in many ways, the perfect complement to his wife, and that the endless labors he undertakes are said to be solely for her benefit. Indeed, his sense of self-worth appears to be inextricably bound to his ability to provide for her. Ooh. So that is probably okay, as long as he doesn't get hurt or something like that. Mm. Mm. But hey, at least it seems like it's a balanced relationship and that they both only think of each other, I guess? Okay. I've seen worse relationships, I guess. A somewhat naive clothier who has traveled a very long way in search of new markets. He has invested his entire fortune in this venture having brought with him stock from Atliston, Grandport, Victor's Hollow, and other notable cities. Okay. Well, we've made some new inquiries happen. The Clifflands are blessed with abundant mineral wealth, and many arms and armor used in conflicts throughout the ages can trace their origins to it. The region is also a source of rare and high-quality rock salt, the trade in which it has earned many notable individuals considerable fortunes. Ooh, we have History of the Clifflands. It's gotta be for another tale. All right. But yeah, that was interesting that he wasn't lit up as part of the quest. So that is important to note for your escort quests in the future. We will inquire of you, sir. A prolific collector who obtains all he desires by any means, and who takes joy in the thrill of the pursuit. If he has his eye on an item in another's possession, without fail will he formally introduce himself. For or taking action. The fool. If I can speak. All right, here we go. Elfin. We travel to Orwell. Wait, I can't just... Huh. It won't let me fast travel there. Well, I guess we go to Quarry Crest? <laughs> See, I was thinking we go to Alphans first because we could fast travel there. But it lied to me. Oh, well. We've done stuff here. I think we're good. We will just continue on our merry Octopath. Hmm, remind me. We need to go southwest and then north. Okay. Beautiful music will accompany us. 
somehow, we have acquired a bard. Wait, is the right way? South Pole or Fall Pass? We'll find out. No, it is not. That was my worry. Okay. Well then. More twisted turns we will take. So we can't go anywhere that way. So we have to go this way and then left. And I guess this could have been helpful. Boulder Falls south, or we'll pass to Orwell. Yeah, yeah. All right. But I was really... Hmm. I thought we'd been to Orwell before. Oh, well. Orwellian it may be. It's a good day for battle. Okay, new Bring creature. Bring it on! What are you? Cultured Kate. Oh, it... Okay, so if we don't KO this thing, it will probably run away. But we want the Monet. Unless it dodges. Then, uh, yeah. Never mind. Oh. Out of my way. You're so close. But not really. Hmm. What do we want to do here? Aerostorm doesn't really help. Alright. Make our way downtown. Hmm. You know what? I think just weak enough. Right? My turn now. Hmm. Huh? Well, that one's done. We don't have haunts, we don't have to worry about trying to way. capture things from the phone. No, okay. Well huh. then. Not enough, huh? Hmm. We hope I've grown more able. All right, we're still making the XP gains. I do need to give Alfin a secondary job, though. What do we want to give? Cleric? That's a possibility. We don't have Hana in the party, so we could give you... You know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to give you optimized equipment. Now I'm gonna see, can we give you Brand's Thunder yet? No, but we're pretty close. Hmm. hmm. I have patience. Hmm, I kind of need some strength on you to make you worth having. Let's take Surpassing Power, because that with Brand's Thunder seems like a very good combo for the bosses we face. So yeah. I'm just kind of getting that on everybody so far. Our mages don't really need it. Their double hit attacks don't do nearly that much. Uh, we don't need to go down, we need to go up. Uh, Alright. Wait, what's that? A waterfall and bugs. Okay. Well, I know I haven't been down here yet. Hmm, treasure. Hmm, fire yourself. Okay. There is no choice. More bird folk. I'll not be defeated. Hmm. Doesn't work on Big Bird over here. Hmm. Out of my way. Where's Elmo when we need him? Cliff Bird King of Florida. Okay, well, I'm gonna try arrows to run. Nope. That was not How the case. Hmm. I think I will just try HP thief. A small blade. Hey. Cool. A small blade. Bring it on. We got silenced though. It's a little unfortunate. Ah. Aha. Uh -huh. Bring it on. Monk. My turn. Could try thousand spears. Oh, we don't need it. Need it. I appreciate it, really. Alright, then we'll save up for Eber's <gasps> Reckoning. That's cool. So I think that'll be good. <laughs> My turn now. Oh, we're not gonna give our sex attacks at all. Oh, oh, lightning. Oh, okay. Well, that did it. I hope I've grown more able. I think you Level 50. So many. So, so many. Okay, then. We 
continue. Actually, what's over here? I see you in the background over there. Huh. This is, uh, this is probably for later. I'll be back. I'll be back. Pretty sure. Can I? No, I can't cut through. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Hmm. I'll make this quick. What are you guys? Out of my way. Only weak to one thing, though. Hmm. <laughs> it's not a bow. I'm so confused. Here we go. Hmm. Could be literally anything. It's probably magic. How about you? Thousands. Dead by a thousand it's not magic. Why a lance? My turn now. Huh. Well. Yeah. It's the fury of the storm. Bring it on. Could do more spears. Hmm. That seemed like it's One down. What? What will you give me? What's yours or mine? A large feather. Hmm. Victory shall be mine. <laughs> How about you? Well, I didn't need a thousand spears. Each battle, I grow stronger. Just like four. Accurate ones. There we go. Oi, traveler. I am the chosen knight. Not bad, eh? I mean, my salutation. I've been practicing, you see. Fair enough. An actor. A noble of Riverford. He has always believed himself to be a man whose fate was ordained by the heavens. He once claimed to have seen a vision of the sacred flame and began training as a cleric. And another time, resolved to become a scholar after concluding that the noblest pursuit was that of knowledge. After some few days, however, he grew tired of both of these endeavors. Nice chatting with you. Okay, seems like this man might be... Might need to find some determination. Rune Hatchet is not bad. Hmm. It's a lot of elemental attack, that's for sure. Now, this is the dungeon, eh? Dragon Song Fane. Huh. I like dragons. Do they like me? Probably not. Especially since we KO'd one with Haunted. But, uh, we're not gonna worry about that. So, I thought this was gonna be the city. Should have paid more attention to the map. Clearly. All right. Hmm. I guess we have to work our way around town. Let's see, successful. Hmm. There is a treasure chest right here, though. No. <laughs> my evasive maneuvers aren't evasive. Out of my way. Hmm. I could try to flee. I think I'd rather just steal some SP. I appreciate it, really. Or fail. I could just I'm... fail. And I think of that. Alright then. Let's fail you. Here goes I nothing. I like the inability to miss on magic. Hmm. Thousand Spears. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay. Victory shall be mine. Ulbrich von Eisenberg. Need you to steal the dagger. Yeah, good enough. Bring it on. Hmm. You know what, Alfie? There we go. <laughs> hmm. Don't have enough for Aber's record. I guess I could use some more. Uh, I appreciate it. Really? We'll take it. I'll not be defeated. Uh, ah! There. At least these battles are Wayne pretty short. Guides us true. But we do have evasive maneuvers, so we're not getting them that often. Which is pretty nice. It's an option you can do. Healing Grape in. Well, you know what? We'll take it. Hmm. What lies over this way? Is this still the... Oh. This... Okay. Yeah, I guess I haven't been here. 
because there's no way I would let those grapes, right? Your journey as an apothecary has carried you to Orwell. Your confidence shaken. You pray that this is where you will find the answers you seek. A story so far. In Saint's Bridge, Alfin used his talents to save the life of a thief named Miguel. But as soon as the man could walk again, he kidnapped and wounded an innocent boy. Was Alfin wrong to believe what he believed? Was Ogin right? Are some lives truly not worth saving? Alfin looked to the sky. Tell me, what would you have done? But there were no answers to be found. And so, with self-doubt festering in his heart, Alfin arrived in the town of Orwell. You know, I... I've come all this way, and I feel like I've found more questions than answers. You listening up there? Still no sign from me, huh? Hmm. I better snap out of it before a wrong step puts me at the bottom of this canyon. Yeah, good point. Howdy there. Why so glum? Truth is... Oh, woe is me. My poor wife and kids are fighting for their lives. Why did this plague have to come to our poor village? Haven't we suffered enough? That satchel of yours. I don't reckon you're an apothecary. <laughs> reckon I am. And the plague you speak of is what brought me here. Oh. Thank the heavens. For once the gold smile upon us. Let's go. Just show me to my patience. I'll do... Well, I'll do the best I can. Fair and well. Oh, thank you. Pray follow me. Huh? Big pardon if I'm just imagining things, friend. But is something the matter? You're looking awful glum yourself. Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. Nothing at all. Now, we should hurry. All right. Ain't gonna question it. Yikes, I can't let them see me brooding. At any rate, I have a job to do. I mean, true. Katsuks! Just look at them all. I'm coming in. Hey, Ogan. We meet again. The hells? Wait, that's... Excuse me. Before I begin the treat, I'd, I would know a few things about you. Can you imagine if doctors did this in most hospitals? That'll do. Sorry to pry. Now, let's see what we can do about your cough. Oh, thank you, Mr. Uh... The name's Ogan. I'm a traveling apothecary of sorts. A little bird told me your village was in rough shape, so here I am. Oh. Not one, but two apothecaries come to our home alone. <laughs> May half the flame shines bright upon us yet. How can we ever repay you? I'll be on my way. Think nothing of. Forgive me. Whoa. Thought your hands were steadier than that, old man. Howdy. We keep meeting, eh? So he dropped something? You. When he saw Alvin? You again. Figured you'd have given up and gone home already. But it seems you're made of stronger stuff than that. <laughs> Darn right I am. Take away my medicine and dogged grit, and there'd be nothing left. Save for a love for a good drink. <laughs> if you say so, hopefully lemonade. Mind if we shoot the breeze? Anyhow, what with all the patients needing tending, it's good to have you around. Let's say we team up. Two sets of hands are better than one, eh? I think not. Thanks, but no thanks. I always work alone. And may have hand problems that we will get to. <sighs> How did I know you'd say that? As you like, then. I'll do the same. Well. 
well now. Whew, that takes care of everyone. And I dare say I've worked up quite a thirst. I think I'll hit the tavern. See you around, Ogan. Gave you some medicine just now, yes? <laughs> Thanks be to the flame, he most certainly did. Let me see it. It'll only take a moment. He's not poisoning people he thinks aren't salvageable, is he? I really hope not. Okay. Um, hmm. Keep saving on this one. Hmm. I feel like we're doing okay on time. We got here pretty quickly compared to <clears throat> most of my excursions. A traveling merchant who makes a habit of learning stories wherever she goes, that she might share them with the children of the orphanage in her hometown, Dragon of the Clifflands. Okay, then. Sounds good for another tale. Anything we can buy from you in the future? Large feathers, eh? Hmm. Not quite what I want. Oh, well. I'm sure somebody doesn't need these weathered boots anymore. I bet they're not that good, right? Weathered boots. What would that even be? Like, one of these? Accessories? Hmm. No. Interesting. Okay, I bet it's just an item we can sell. Like, the <laughs> fool's gold ore and stuff, probably. Let's inquire first. A woman of Orwell who lives alone. Her husband died young, leaving her to raise their son by herself. However, after a heated argument, the youth stormed off, never to return. Even now, more than a decade later, she sometimes finds herself staring at the front door he slammed shut behind him. I didn't hide him. Hmm. Okay, essence of grape, essence of plum. Those would be nice. Anything in the general store we'd want. Adamantine hatchet. Hmm, so that's better than rune hatchet, it looks like. For elemental. Hmm. Which we don't care that much for. Oh, I could decrease Ulbricht's physical defense and make him a more evasive tank. Hmm. Hmm. I think for now we don't worry about it. We got enough other stuff. I think we're good. We'll try to unlock more with our inquiries. Yeah, yeah. Truth is... It was over a decade ago now. Me and my son quarreled and he left an arm. Said he wanted to be a knight. Imagine. Of course I told him what I thought of that. I also told him he was a lily, lily livered, not lily livered, uh, mule who'd amount to nothing. Truth be told, I regret that it was wrong of me, and all I want is for me son to come home again. But the time for that's long gone, and I suppose I'll have to sleep in the bed where I made. The wayward son. Carry on my wayward son. We'll inquire to what you've done. This man claims to often bear witness to incredible sights. A dragon sauntering through a town square. A deity manifesting to comport with mortals, and so forth. No one is certain whether he is mad or dead, but given his confusion when challenged, at the very least he seems to be sincere. A hidden item? Cool. Greetings. Didn't you? A bloke calling himself Cervantes just came by, clad head to toe in the finest mail. What was he up to, you reckon? Hmm. Cervantes. Wasn't that... The dude we met with Ulberic? Hmm. He did have a lot of armor at the time. Okay, so we need to carry on for the Wayward Sun. See if we can't find some more stuff. Wait, why can't I get the... Okay. What? Awkward. Aha. Uh -huh. Somehow, you have to go around the back of this. You can't go from this side. That's interesting. Uh, oh, hey. We're back, Ogan. We were lying about getting a drink. This pain in my head, this constant ringing in my ears, calls it never ends. It's enough to drive me mad. That's, uh, not great for you, is it? <laughs> so cold. I can make it in the middle of a blizzard. No matter how much I bundle up, this chill won't go away. Yeah, that sounds bad. Hmm. Heavens me! And how much longer until I'm better? And various other things. 
Ah. I can't inquire of Ogan. Okay. Ah, so hot, so hot. My fever won't break. Throat is terribly sore. Just drinking water is agony. Like trying to swallow warm coals. Hmm. That does not sound fun. Okay, we can't inquire of the... Uh, that one. Hmm. Can't stop. Can't stop coughing. Taste blood. Hard to breathe. Hurts too much. Just sleep. Many thanks. Ooh. Okay. I thought I told you to leave me be. Okay. Hmm. Well, all right then. We can go in here for some reason. Ah, oh, yes, because we said we were getting a drink. <laughs> a flagon of your strongest, my good man. How are you? Something eaten away at you, friend? <laughs> Shucks, isn't that obvious? Well... Might as well be written on your face. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's nothing. Just a, a lost love. Well, I'm already in the midst of forgetting. Hmm. If you're trying to win me over, you're going to have to try harder than that. <laughs> oh, man. Whoa. And there she goes. <sighs> Lying isn't your strong suit, is it? Hmm. So I'm not the only one who needs a stiff one. Long day. Ah. <laughs> Heed my words, boy. Tell too many lies. Even little white ones. And one day you'll forget what the truth is. You don't say. Thanks for the diagnosis. <sighs> when I saw the medicine you gave the villagers back there. Sloppier than before. Almost as if your heart wasn't in it. Oh? Nothing gets past you, does it? To tell the truth, all this time I've been thinking. Who, what, am I really doing this for? And these days, I just don't know. I can't find an answer. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Nor I. And I wager I've been searching for a fair bit longer. Hmm. <laughs> you don't say. Huh? Hey, is it me, or are your hands shaking? I'm afraid the answer is no. I think you had one ale too many. Oh, is he having mm. liver problems? Mm. We're both exhausted, I'm sure. Get a good night's sleep. <laughs> right. There are no answers. Not for me. Hey, yo! Alvin! Alvin! Oh? Hey, you there. What can I do you for? Well... My fever. It's getting worse by the hour. Oh. Alvin was taking care of you, wasn't he? Could he have botched the dose? <laughs> There's the thought. Why, Sir Ogan's a thousand times the apothecary you'll ever be. The hells? Why, you? If you're so fond of that old grunk. <laughs> oh, I jest, I jest. Please, sir, I beg your help. Master Ogan's worn too thin to impose. What? Worn thin? <laughs> Why, just today he must have dropped his tools some twenty odd times. Later he started coughing something terrible, and then he just wandered away. Hmm. That doesn't sound right. The fact is... Well, with all the patients he's been seeing, no wonder he's tired and all. Hmm... Uh, doctors make the worst patients, don't they? <sighs> Melissa, please... Please forgive me. <gasps> so, he probably has the plague. Always the same dream. <coughs> uh oh. No rest for the weary. My patients are waiting. 
Yeah, sounds like you're one of them now. I should walk around town and see if anyone else needs my help. Which we will do next time, dear viewers. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more Octopath Traveler. And I hope you have a great day.